Boom! What's up everybody? Coach Corey here. Together we'll do it better. And in this video, I'm going to be walking through like the entire process, right? So I don't have anything created at all whatsoever um, on creating a funnel, which is basically going to be like a lead capture page uh, that's going to lead to a, a ClickBank affiliate product, right? So I'm going to share my screen here in just a second. Um, this is going to be using Eula Suites, which is uh, built on Go High Level. Eula Suites is my brand. I'm you know, Unlimited Life Academy, Unlimited Lifers. So Eula Suites is a white labeled version of Go High Level. I've got some extra stuff in there as well. Um, it's not just a basic um, basic version of high level. I've got a whole bunch of funnels already created in there. And then anything that I do inside of like these kind of training videos, I always just add that in there. And then you guys can have access to it. Um, just created a really cool pimp funnel is what it's called. The Passive Income Multiplier Funnel or a platform pimp, fun pimp funnel. So that's in there as well. Um, haven't really got it launched yet, so we're going to see how how that goes. I need to get some videos probably remade for it to make it a little bit more viral, get more people in on it. But yeah, in this video, I'm going to be doing that. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen here in just a second to show you guys what's going on. All right. So I'm trying to think about the best way to do this. Uh, I guess this view is probably good enough for now. It's just, I don't know. I'm going I'm to do the full screen. You guys won't be able to see me on, on Facebook. But um, so here we are. Let me go into the dashboard before you guys start seeing all the uh, all the people's emails and stuff. So this is going to be the dashboard of Eula Suites. Hang on one second. Let me flip my camera on for all those people over on TikTok, right? So Eula Suites, again, this is, this is built on Go High Level, which is a software. Gives you all this stuff. Let me move my ring light real quick for the people over on TikTok so it's not glaring off the screen. But we're going to go through this and we're going to build out an entire funnel um, and automate it here, right? So first of all, this is the software. You know, Inside here, you guys can build out funnels and websites. That's what we're going to be doing today. You just scroll down to where it says funnels and websites, click on funnels. And today we're basically just going to be grabbing... Um, we're going to be grabbing a ClickBank product here in just a second and then building out the funnel of the entire thing, right? So the cool thing with this platform is you can build out your email autoresponder and all that kind of stuff. So stick around and we're going to walk through this. So first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go over to ClickBank, right? ClickBank.com. Um, you can do this with any affiliate marketplace, right? I'm just going to use Click, ClickBank for this one. Uh, I'm probably going to have to log back in. Let me just refresh real quick to see. And then we'll show you guys how to get this thing going, right? So, yeah, log back in. And then you're just going to go to Marketplace in the top middle. Right, marketplace. And then over on the left-hand side, you can pick whatever niche you want to get into. Um, I don't know. I think I'm going to do, like, softwares and stuff. It's software and services. These are usually some pretty decent kind of stuff. And then we're just going to filter by gravity really quick just to see what's selling good right i guess clickbank added advertising here so that's kind of funny vidtune 2.0 the low c cycle that's crazy man the 1100 commission i wonder what that's about that's a crypto thing 98 challenge to make money in crypto without buying coins and profit in any niche with zero competition i'm just gonna check that out anyway because that's kind of crazy so you can just click on it to see like what it's gonna look like, you know, check out the landing page. Yeah, this isn't gonna be something I want to do for this one, but I think I'm probably just gonna take that um that first one. Vidtune, right? So we're just gonna use Vidtune. You got a pretty cool little sales page here. And this is kind of cool because it's like lets you make animated videos, right? For your your softwares and stuff. $49 one time. Good stuff. So, um, one, you're gonna go to the affiliate page, right? Average, uh, average conversion is like 32 bucks. That's not too bad, right? So the fill, the affiliate link is gonna be over on the left hand side. Click on that, and you're gonna have like your different things here. Um, but what we need to do is see kind of what their sales funnel looks like, so that we know how we need to set ours up. But we're really just going to do like a capture page, to be honest, and then uh, and then send them to our affiliate link, right? They do have email swipes. They have some videos and stuff too, which is pretty cool. I'll probably grab a video and put it inside 
if, uh, if they let you download them. Sometimes they have these sales videos and stuff, but you, you can't actually download them, right? So let's see. Oops. Share, that's not what we're going to do, yeah. So I don't know why they do that. Let's see. Nonetheless, it doesn't matter. Let's just grab the affiliate link, and then we'll start building up this funnel. So I'm going to see where this takes me first. So I'm just going to copy it. I'm going to throw it up in a different window just because I want to see what what the what the landing page is going to look like, right? So we're going to try to have our landing page kind of mimic this just a little bit, you know, try to do the same, same color scheme at least, and then... Um, and then do one that's gonna be good. Yeah, so it's all right. All good, so we're just gonna go in here. We're gonna go into funnels. We're gonna create a new funnel, I think. Um, I might cheat and just make like a, whatever, we'll just make a new funnel, all right? Funnel name, so this is gonna be VidTune because that's the name of this, name of the product. So funnel name will be VidTune. And this would just be opt-in because this is where people are going to go to opt-in. And then if you have a ClickFunnels account and you want to import a ClickFunnels in here, you can do that. So like I'll open my account up on a different window and I'll just see, I'll see if I have a, a funnel that I can just grab really quick and show you guys how that works. Because again, all we're trying to do here is we're just trying to capture emails on, you know, a landing page or an opt-in page, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then once we do that, as they submit the button to get on our email list, it'll automatically take them over to our to our um, to our affiliate page, right? So let's see. I don't really have any in ClickFunnels, to be honest. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just give me a second. Like I can grab. I have like legendary opt-in page. That one usually works pretty good, right? So let me just grab that one. So to, to import a ClickFunnels into Eula Suites, you just got to paste the ClickFunnels URL. Make sure you hit the, the back after you paste it. Whenever you copy something out of ClickFunnels, you always have to delete the space at the end. Click on that little icon from this page belongs to me. Create new page. And then you're going to see here, it only takes a couple seconds, and then it'll pop up into the editor. And once that's done, you know, this, so this is like um, what you'd see like on, uh, whatchamacallit, right? So the way that this this one's set up, this is Legendaries, right? Who wants to watch uh, or who wants to start an online business but doesn't know where to begin? So obviously this doesn't really match what we're trying to do. But you can say free video um, for anyone who wants to, we'll say make more, um, be sell more, right? Sell more. Using bit like videos, um, using videos, but doesn't want to be on screen, right? On camera, doesn't want cam camera. There we go. Doesn't want to be on camera because a lot of people struggle with being on camera, right? Where should I send the free video or since I'm not going to actually send them a video, I'm just going to say um, get into access to the free video. Get into access to the free video. Yes. I don't know. You're supposed to use like capital letters every once in a while, right? Um, so this like call to action up here, you know, you always want to have like a, some kind of pain point in there. So that's why I said um, for anyone who wants to sell more using videos but doesn't want to be on camera, right? So they know the power of, of video marketing, but they don't necessarily want to be on camera. I'm going to change this instead of it saying get instant access. I'm just going to say I'm just going to change it to just the watch, you know, watch the video now. So we're just going to scroll down on the left hand side of the screen is where we're going to do all of our editing. So if you scroll all the way down to the left side, you're going to see the text options, right? So the first text is going to be the main text. 
and that's just going to be watch the video now. We're not going to have a subtitle, right? So I'm going to copy this because that's what I want to say anyway. I'm just going to paste it in here. Watch the video now. And the sub subtext is, you know, I don't know. You don't want to miss this. How about that? Mission point. And now the funnel, you know, now that button is going to be dancing around. And this funnel or this button, watch the video now. We're going to scroll down. If you want to change what it does, you just look. It says button actions on the left-hand side all the way at the bottom. And then instead of scroll the element, we're just going to open the pop-up, right? And now to change the pop-up, we're going to do this. Because ultimately what we're trying to do, again, we're just trying to um, get people to opt in, right? Actually, I'm not even going to open the pop-up. I'm just going to get rid of this button completely. We'll end up putting a form here in just a minute. Um but we'll save this really quick and then we'll go create our form. This uh, that pops up over on the right hand side is going to be like your SEO metadata. So uh, the title and stuff, you know, this is going to be like whatever you want, whatever you want to call it, the title of it. So um, I don't know, easy. Easy video marketing could be something that, you know, whatever. We can fill all this out later. Uh, this is really just more so um, for when people are going online. Like, it'll show you a preview, right? Video, easy video marketing, whatever you want to do. We'll, we'll change this up later. But just for right now, we're just going to go ahead and save it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back out and we're going to actually create a form to put on this page. That way people can opt in, right? So the cool thing with the Yellow Suites platform is that you actually build the forms out um, on their own and not necessarily in the funnel. And then you can just import them into any funnel or website that you want to. So to do that, though, on the left-hand side of the screen, you're going to see a tab that says marketing. You're going to click on marketing. You're going to go into form builder. You're going to click on a form builder. And then we're going to create a new form um, where there's a button over on the right-hand side. Sorry for all the people at uh, on TikTok. I'm moving the screen back and forth. Um, now we're going to name the form is going to be the first thing that we're going to do. So we're just going to click on the options. And then where it says form 36, we're going to change that to VidTune. Because that's going to be the um, be the product that we're uh, offering, right? And now underneath that, you're going to see on submit. And then it says open URL. And then you can enter a URL, right? This is where you want to put your affiliate link. So your affiliate link is actually going to be inside of the form itself and not inside the funnel. So again, you're just going to go over to VidTunes. You're going to go and get your, um, or you're going to go into ClickBank. My ClickBank, where the heck did ClickBank go? Go into ClickBank and grab your, and grab your, what the heck? I might have canceled out of ClickBank for some reason. Hang on just a second. Click. Right, right, come on, log in. And then we're just going to find that again really quick. It won't be hard. Go into Marketplace. Go down to Software and Services. And then Define by Gravity. And then it's like that first one, right? BitTunes. So click on Promote. Generate hop links. Copy that. Then always test your link. You know, you always want to test your link to make sure that it is going to take them to the page. It should have your um, your ClickBank ID in the top of it, which this one does. So that one works. We're going to go back into the software now. And on submit, we're just going to paste that ClickBank or affiliate ID, right? So now that we have that, we're going to put some fields in this form really quick. And we're just going to ask for the first name and email address, and that's it. And we're going to throw a button in here. We're going to make this button the full width. And then to kind of match this up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over to this website. 
and I have a cool little Chrome extension that lets me just pick a color off the page, right? So we're just going to match it up to like one of these purples. So let me grab it. I'm going to grab this dark purple. And now I can just copy the color code, right? Because I want the form, like I said, you, you want to kind of make everything match. So we'll change the button color. I'm going to do that. I'm going to paste my code in here. And now it will be that dark purple, which is going to match. And this is just going to say, you know, watch. Watch the video now. Or, yeah, watch the video now. That's fine. Right. And that's really all there is to it. Um, if you wanted to put, you know, uh, your Facebook pixel ID in here, I would highly suggest that if you're running Facebook ads, for some reason you want to run ads to a ClickBank product, this would be a great way to do it. Just put your Facebook pixel in here on the right-hand side. Um, but otherwise, I'm just going to go ahead and save it. And now that I have that done, I can go back into the funnels on the left-hand side, scroll down the funnels, go back into the VidTune funnel, right? It should be the top one because it's the last one that I worked on. We're just going to edit page. And now we're going to go ahead and just click on the plus here in order to add a new thing. And you can see right here on the right-hand side, there's just a... Uh, a button that says form, click on a form, and then it's going to ask you which form you want. So you can click on that since it's V for VidTune. Hopefully I got the right one. That wasn't, I guess I must have had a VidTune in there before. Let me try that again. Form. And I think that was the first VidTune, right? Dang it. Did it again. I guess I need to delete that other vid tune. Scroll down the this one. There we go. That's the one that we wanted, right? So now when somebody um, goes to submit this and they go to watch the video, it'll automatically take them to um, to the site, right? So that's really all there is to it. Uh, if you wanted to change out the color of the background and stuff, like you could do the background that way. Like if I wanted to make it that purple color, make this really just pop out. So do background, you need background color. If you can't find your color, just paste the code in, right? So that purple code I already have in here, it should be in here anyway. Yep, it is. I'm gonna add color. And then now you can see like the whole background um, just kind of changed that purple color. So it matches this kind of purple theme, right? If you wanted to get like more fancy with it, you could always do like um, you could like change this background to where it's, you know, maybe oh, wrong one, my bad. Click out, click on this one, and then you can do the background color, and you can make this just like a, a black. No, nope, that's not gonna work. Transparent completely. I'm trying to see if I can get something that's gonna make it stand out a little bit. Mm. Can't do that. We'll go back to white. But now we can do this one maybe instead. Let's see if we can do like this one. I mean, you're just trying to get you're just trying to get it to pop off the screen a little bit. Maybe we can do that color. Change the color of the text really quick. This on the left hand side. Just make it white. Oh. White. There you go. I mean, that kind of makes it pop a little bit. Probably gets the job done, right? Good enough. So we can save that. Now the form's filled out. It's saved, right? Um, if you want to preview it, you can preview it. It's just gonna look good on your. Make sure it's gonna look good on your computer, right? I don't know. It's not the prettiest thing, but it, again, we're just trying to capture an email, so it's it's all good. Um, check it on uh, mobile, right? Because you want to make sure that it's gonna look good on mobile. I really should probably change that color of the button to 
to make it pop off, make it a red or something, right? Maybe a red to match that that free video. But to do that, we got to go back out into the marketing tab. And then if we want to change the color of that button, go into marketing, go into form builder again. Go back to our bid tune form, right? And I know we got another one in here. The one with the capital T was the wrong one, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete this one, right? So I'm going to delete it. Click OK. And then on this one, I'm going to go ahead and change that button out because I just didn't like the look of it. Options. Oop. Not options. Click on the button. Click on the color. And then we can just like drag this over to the red. Find a nice, nice bright red. Right. Let's save it. That's good enough. Go back into the funnel, make sure that it looks good. Yeah, there you go. Watch the video now. So that's all there is to it, right? So now we've got this hooked up. The affiliate link is attached to this button. So as soon as somebody fills out the form and they put it in here, it's going to send them there, right? So the next step that we need to do is we need to be able to shoot, um, take these you know, names and emails and put them somewhere so that we can follow up with them, right? So the easiest way to do that is to, um, it depends on how you want to do it. I, I sometimes, I would say I usually actually make a pipeline so that they can go into it. That way I can, I can keep track of where people are at. Um, as long as you're collecting the emails, period, they're going to land in your contacts. So you can always come in here and then you can filter your contacts by like uh, pipeline, right? So you can come over here and type in pipeline. And then you could always find like the pipeline for um, for the funnel that you're trying to do, right? If you do it by pipeline. So in order to do that, though, you got to go into your settings. On the far left, go all the way down to the bottom, go to settings. And then in the top center, you're going to see pipelines. And now we'll, we'll create a new pipeline for VidTune. So we're just going to click on create new pipeline on the top right. And we're just going to call it VidTune. Because that's what this is for. And then the first stage is just going to be opt-in. Right? I'm not going to add any other stages at this point. I just want to make sure that I can see everybody um, that's coming through. And it's easier for me to separate them this way. For some reason so i'm a more visual person so i'll put in this uh in here like this and then i'm just gonna click on save so now if we go back over into our contacts on the left hand side we go up to the opportunities now we can switch this pipeline over to the vid tune and it'll show us anybody that is coming into this funnel right so it's going to show up over here on the left hand side um an example would be like this one i, I just created this one Yesterday, this is for the seven day free email, right? These are all the people that are opting in for that right now. So you can see they just get a card. And then if you click on their name, it's going to um, show you like all their contact information and all that good stuff. So, but now that we got that created for VidTune, right? So now we have a opportunity or an opportunity pipeline created with the opt in. What we're going to do is we're going to go over on the left hand side and go all the way down to where it says triggers. And then we would create a new trigger. I always suggest making a new folder if it's for a product, right? So right now I actually have ClickBank products in here. And we already have VidTune in here. And it's active. So on this one, what I need to do, though, is I need to um, just change it really quick so it's got the new form. But basically, you would just add a new, uh, a new trigger. And then you're going to click on Form Submitted. So in here... It's going to give you a drop down. And it's going to ask you what the action is, right? So what do you want to happen or, or what do you want to trigger the, this kind of action? So you're going to click on form submitted and then form is, and then you're going to select the form and we're going to pick the vid tune form, right? So vid tune right here. And then we are going to, actually, we're going to add them and update them to an opportunity first. And it is going to be the pipeline for vid tune. So we're going to select VidTune, and then the Sage will be opt-in. So just like that, you got opt-in, right? Now, I think I already made it, uh, or I think I already made a campaign for this before. But 
after you have this set, you just want to make sure that it says active up here in the drop down, not draft, active, and then click save. So now what's going to happen is anytime somebody submits that form, uh, they're going to get moved on to our affiliate link. They're going to land on this page after the form is submitted, right? But at that same time, there's going to be a contact created inside of our opportunities inside of this pipeline. So there'll be a new opportunity here. If you guys want to see this happen live, I'll show you guys what that looks like really quick. Um, I'll go back into the funnel. And then I'm just going to open it up in a preview. And even if it's in preview mode, if I fill out the form, I should have the uh, contact created, right? So I'm coming here. I'm just going to click on preview in the top right. And then here, if I put my name and email, click on watch the video. It takes me to the affiliate link like it should, right? So here's the video that they can watch. So they opt in to watch the video. They live on the, they land on the video and then uh, they can watch it, right? So that worked perfect. Let's see if it actually worked inside of our software in Eula Suite. So now there should be a contact created in the opportunities and it should be my name. And there it is, right? So now um, if you click on my name, this is going to show you, and this is going to work for you guys if you follow the same process of setting this up. So you're going to see the person's name, like any any information that you click on that form will go in here, right? So if I if I had the uh, phone number, or birth date, or any of this other stuff, you would see it in here. My screen's not being shared. Huh. Hang on a second. I'm not sharing my screen. It says it's it's sharing. Where is it not sharing it? It's all good now. So can you see this? So after I filled out the form, right, it took me to the affiliate link just like this. And the contact was created. So you guys can see this now, right? And it's going to give you all the information that you collect. Must have been a glitch. Yeah. Must have been a glitch. Anyway. So hopefully you can see it now, right? So now um, if you have an auto responder set up, which we're, we're going to do that next. If you had it set up, it's going to show you that first email that gets sent out to you. And we're going to, we're going to walk you through that. That's the next step, right? So now that we got... The funnel created which is really just the capture page that leads to the affiliate link um, we got the pipeline created right over in our opportunities to where this is going to show up the next thing that we want to do is we want to build out the marketing campaign so that when that with that when this happens they're going to get a follow-up email because they you know there's a good chance they're not going to buy once they land on this right so you want to follow up with them um, i've already given you guys a free seven day follow-up email sequence that you guys can kind of customize for this however when you guys promote ClickBank products, a lot of times, if you come in here and you um, go to the affiliate website, so if I just click on the affiliate website, right, they're going to have stuff already in here, like email swipes. So you click on email swipes, and you can then download the email swipes, and then you can just use the ones that they have, right? Um, this is an easy way to do it, right? I mean, that, I guess that's cool, but... Uh, these are Black Friday, which already happened, so that's too late. Um, but here would be like where you would start, right? Like these kind of things. And then you're you're literally just copying these. You're putting your own um, affiliate links in here. So this would be like your affiliate link, you know, obviously. And then you can just see like one, two, like you just go down and see how many swipes they have which looks like they have I don't know it didn't this one didn't number it so I don't know but there's a lot of them you can see them over here on the left there's a whole bunch of email swipes right now I think I've already done this before in the past but basically you know what you're going to do is you're just going uh, you're just going to go to this and then you're going to grab a subject line right um, and then you're going to come into the system and you're going to go into marketing. You're going to create a new campaign. 
again, I would create a folder called VidTune first, but I think I might already have one, or I put it inside of um, ClickBank products to remote, right? So there should be one in here that's already VidTune, right? Yeah, there is. So if you guys have this software, you should have this in your back office. If you don't have these, I mean, you can just build them out again or reach out to me. But if you click on VidTune, you can come in here and see. So um, yeah, so I already got them pre-done, right? They have six emails and it's a seven day sequence. If you guys have these in your back office, all you have to do is come in here, click on edit, scroll down and then where uh, where you see the links in here, just click on it and then make sure that this is gonna be your affiliate link, right? So make sure that that's your affiliate link to that product. Um, but it's pretty easy to just come in here and redo these. Just make sure that all the links are going to be your affiliate links. And then um, make sure that you sign off with your own sign off, right? You can always add stuff in here too if you wanted to. Like, feel free to make it your own, rewrite it in your own words. You know, you want to make sure that this is going to be um, in your own voice kind of thing, right? I think I just copied and pasted them because I haven't really promoted it. Uh, and then you're going to do that for each email and just click save, right? Once it's saved, you're good to go. Um, then you're going to set up the timing, right? So for this one, you know, email one, I'm going to say, you know, suggest sending them five minutes after, right? Because hopefully they're watching the video that's on this page. And then at, you know, five minutes later, they're going to get the email. So it doesn't look like it was sent right away. It's going to look more real, which is also in that email sequence that I was talking to you guys about. But you should have, you know, like I said, have the whole thing set up, right? Actually, I can, let me go look real quick. So if I go into, y'all should have this same snapshot, right? So if I come in here, yeah, they're not. So I can see, I'll, I'll see if there's a way for me to share just the email, just the campaigns with you guys. But if not, you know, in, inside of your campaigns, this is what you're going to see. Um, actually, let me just build it out, right? The heck with it. Um, VidTune. I should just say ClickBank products like I had before. Uh, ClickBank products, right? Let's say that as a folder. That way, these are going to be all of your campaigns for your different ClickBank products, right? So we'll create a new campaign. We'll call it VidTune. Uh, VidTune, because that's what we're going to promote. And we're going to put it inside that ClickBank products. Click save. And now what I'll do, I'm going to actually open up um, ULUS. So, uh, I'm going to open up the ULUS suites again in a different window so I can just copy and paste the email campaign. All right, because it'll be easier than trying to edit it all from 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 a VidTune affiliate. All right, so we're just going to click on Add New Event. It's going to be an email. And now that we have the new email, what I'm going to do is go back into my other account. I'll go back into that campaign. You guys aren't going to see it, so I'm not going to keep swapping back and forth from the screen, but um, it'll be easier, like I said, for me to do it this way for you guys. And then what I'll do is I'll update your snapshots so that it'll automatically be in there when you're done or when I'm done, right? Okay, so first thing is we are gonna put the subject, right? So we're gonna paste, and then I'm just gonna copy, copy the body, so copy that. And what I'll do, just because this video, I don't want, I don't necessarily want this video to be super long. Um, I'm going to do this real quick so that you guys hopefully can see. Enter your I'm going to copy that actually. Oops, I always do that. Dang it. Copy that. And then that way you guys know like this is where you put your affiliate link, right? Oops. Dang it. 
seems always messing up on me now. That's fine. And then obviously you guys can switch out that, right? Um, hopefully you should already know how to do that. And once that's done, just click save. And again, I'm going to change it to five minutes. And we'll do the next one. Another email. And then, I don't know, maybe to make this faster, I'm just going to... Um, You guys can just figure out where you got to put your affiliate links, right? It's not too hard uh, from this point on anyway. If it's highlighted in blue, it's a link. And that means that's your affiliate link, right? So there's that one. Save. And then this one is going to be one day later so we're gonna go after we're gonna go one then we're gonna select day then we're gonna add a new event another email this is gonna be email three and then we're gonna copy the subject line we're gonna paste it copy the body then we're gonna paste it Oh, dang it. I'm just going to delete all that. That's going to be too much. Click in here and I'll paste it there. Now let me grab the subject line again. I don't know. If I'm, I feel like I need to uh, not go through this entire process because this is like a, a lot of the... Uh, so on that one, we're going to change it. You always got to make sure that you put how long after the initial contact that you want it to happen, right? So it's going to be two days. Uh, then we'll go on to the next one. So again, just go back to another email. Uh, this is going to be email number four. So we are going to copy the subject line. And then we're going to copy the body. Whoop. And then we will paste the body in here. So that's all done. We're going to save. So that's going to be four days after. Four days, right? Add another event. Again, we're going to do another email. This is going to be email number five. So once again, we're just going to copy paste and you'd be doing essentially the same thing if you know um you're just gonna be doing it inside of the affiliate center for um for the product right so this this will work for any of the clickbank products most of them are gonna have some kind of affiliate center um like we were here right so you'd be just copying this right and pasting it inside of yours if you're gonna do it for a different product it's completely up to you right but I already did this and that's why I had it. So you're going to have this whole um, thing depending on where you're at. You know, they give you other cool resources and stuff, usually inside of click, like inside of their affiliate page. So just make sure you know that when you're building out the funnels and stuff, like, you know, get creative and do whatever you got to do. This one we're going to change to five days. And I think they only have maybe one more left. So email number six. So we're going to add one more. We're going to do email. And typically, you know, I would just suggest like use whatever they, um, whatever they give you, like as far as email swipes and stuff go. Again, you can make them in your own name, like put them in your own writing kind of thing. But these companies spend a lot of money to make these emails convert as much as possible because obviously they got a lot of people promoting them and they want people to have good results. And then that final one is going to be, um, we're actually going to skip a day. So we're going to go to day seven instead of day uh, six. We're just going to put days, right? So days, boom. And just like that, I'm going to hit publish. And that one's going to be good to go. Now, I'm going to go back into my account because this is kind of like where we left off was in my account. So we're going to go back into my account real quick. And then um, 
I'm going to show you guys how to get that hooked up, right? So now we have the campaign. You guys are going to have the same VidTune campaign in here. So now what we want to do is we want to go back into our triggers. And we're going to go back to that form that we created for VidTune, uh, which is probably, like, I don't know, did I create one just for VidTune or? Uh, no, it's inside of ClickBank products, right? So ClickBank products, VidTune. So now we already have the first trigger to where once they submit the form, um, they're going to be added or updated to the pipeline. And now what we want to do is make sure that they get added to that campaign. So again, we're going to click on um, a new action and then we're going to click on add to campaign. Hopefully you guys can still see this. If anybody's watching. Once, it, uh, once you click on add to campaign, you just got to select which campaign it is that you want to send them to. Um, this is going to be VidTune, so it should be down towards the bottom right there, right? Uh, and then once that's done, you just want to make sure that you say hit save, and you want to make sure that it shows that it's active, right? So now I'm going to go back in. I'm going to show you really quick what that looks like. So hopefully um, it'll get worked out. We're going to go back on opportunities. If you ever need to delete somebody's tag, right? So we're going to delete this one just because I'm going to walk you through the process one more time to show you this in action. Uh, just click on the white space of the card, not the name. Just click on the white space and it's going to pull up just the card info and then in the bottom left you can click on the delete button to delete it now if this lead if you want to keep track of how much somebody might be potentially worth what you can do is where it says lead value if you go back into the product right and they show you how much uh how much you're going to get right if they decide to buy this whatever what whatever your percentage is you can always come back and put that in um into your funnel so you know how much that that person is potentially worth so let's just say this one's fifty dollars even you're getting a 50 percent commission it's a one-time payment so um maybe that's the first thing that we're going to put in there and then you could always do like the lead value of like 25 dollars. and then if you update it what's going to happen is it's going to show like this little 25 here on um on the card itself but then also in your dashboard if you choose the uh choose the funnels and you go down to well, go down to vidtune right it's going to show you how much uh how much is potential right 25 bucks and it'll keep track of you for that so when you're looking up here in the pipeline value it's going to start adding all that kind of stuff up right so if you got a whole bunch of people coming in and they're all potentially worth 25 bucks that's where you get this number and this is of your entire uh like your entire system like everybody that's in all of your different things if you add a value to them you don't have to but if you do that's how that works right so i'm gonna go back into the opportunities really quick but if you want to delete this card you just click on it um and then click on the delete in the bottom right it's going to ask you to make sure that you want it deleted you delete it and then just like that it's gone so now once again we are going to test out the funnel you should always be testing right always be testing as you go through them so we're going to go back into funnels we're going to go back into our VidTune funnel. We're going to go on to uh, edit. You can you can just select that one. I probably should have just selected that one, but I like to go into the funnel just to make sure that everything looks right, right? And then um, ultimately, you're going to want to change all this stuff down here as well, right? And then click on preview. Then we're just going to test it. So again, I'm just going to put in my same information as last time. I click on watch video. So it should redirect me to my affiliate link, which it does, right? So now they're going to have the opportunity to watch this video. I wish that this video was actually up higher just so it went straight to it. But, oh, well, can't do nothing about that. People should be able to figure it out, right? So that worked perfectly. So now we need to go back out into our opportunities or our pipeline. And then make sure that my name popped up again. And the only thing is, like, we're going to have to wait um, five minutes, right? Because if I click on this, we set that first email to go out in five minutes. So hopefully you guys can stick around for five more minutes because it's not showing up yet. Um, but once that, once that trigger happens, right, that email will get sent out uh, to me, right, in five minutes from now, I guess, because I just submitted the form. Does anybody have any questions about that if you're watching live? That's basically the entire system, right? That's all you have to do from that point. All you got to do is start sending traffic. 
So same thing goes for um, like the pimp funnel that you guys got, right? So the, the pimp funnel, again, you guys can completely customize these however you want. But if you go into the passive income multiplier platform, the pimp funnel, right? It's basically doing the same thing. So you want to make sure that you have this opt-in page set up. You should have a form in there. So I'll walk, I'll walk you through this really quickly and then we'll go back and check the email, right? So you want to, first of all, go inside your um, marketing, go into form builder, and then make sure that you already have the pimp form inside of your funnel, right? So it's already here. And then your redirect should be, um, it should be the next step in the funnel, right? So you want to make sure that this URL is going to be the next step in the funnel, which I'll show you what it is right here. Just go back into funnels. Whatever you, whatever domain you put on your funnel, it's going to be like yourdomain.com forward slash whatever, right? But the after the opt-in, you want to make sure that they're going to step one, the start, right? So you're going to copy this URL for this step one. And then you're going to make sure that that is inside of your form. So we're going to go back over to form builder. We're going to go back into our pimp form. We're going to click on options in the top right. And then on submit, where it says on submit, you want to make sure that it says open URL. And then you're going to paste your uh, step one inside of here, right? So once they fill out this form, it's going to automatically take them into the funnel. That's the whole point of this. Hopefully that makes sense. Yep. And then, uh, so then what's going to happen is if we go back into the funnels really quick, right? We got us, we already have the trigger set up for the, for the pimp funnel as well. So now that you have your form in the funnel, you can go into your, your triggers. And again, I created a, uh, there should be a folder for a pimp, right? And so I got the one trigger and on form submitted, the form is pimp. You're going to get added or updated to the, opportunity uh pipeline for the pimp in the opt-in stage and then there's also a campaign right so it's going to add to the campaign just like i showed you in that last last one so you just want to use the same process that i showed you to create this um click funnels or not click funnels click bank products right you're going to make sure that that same ha same thing is happening inside of your pimp funnel right so as soon as somebody fills out the form they get added to the opportunities so if you if i go into my opportunities uh, to switch up the opportunities tab, you're going to see like where it says VidTune kind of towards the top. There's going to be a drop down and that's going to give you all your different pipelines. So like if I select pimp, you're going to see all the leads that are coming in through the pimp. Right. So I got 19 leads so far um, to the pimp funnel. Most of them are people that are already in Eula Suite. So they're just checking it out. Um, but that's where you're going to be able to see them. Right. So you should have a pipeline for pimp and then you're making sure that you have the trigger set up that this is going to be created and they get added to the email. So again, if I go into this one, oh, I probably did this before I set up the emails. I don't want to go into somebody else's because um, if I go into somebody else's, I don't want you to see their emails. So let me just see if I can go to pimpfunnel.com and I'll, I'll refill this one out too. Make sure that this one's actually working, which it does, right? It takes them to step 105, which is perfect. But now we got a new one. And then I'll have to see if the I'll have to see if the email comes back in for this one. Because this one should be connected to a uh, campaign as well. Because that's what the trigger is, right? So inside the trigger again, if I go back into the pimp real quick, and I'm not I hope I'm not confusing you guys, right? but it should automatically update them, add them to the pimp campaign. And then if I go into my marketing and go into campaigns, I can go into the pimp campaign to show you guys what it is, right? So there should be the first email, right? And then the second email. So there's only two emails in here and I need to redo them, but um, yeah, so this one's after five minutes as well, but uh, you can see the details. So there's been some people that opted in that it says it bounced. So one person bounced, meaning that um, 
the email didn't get delivered, right? You don't want people to bounce. Like you, you want everything to get delivered. I don't know why it doesn't say anything's opened up, but anyway. So with that being said, let's just go back and see if the opportunity um, for the new VidTune, right? See if my email actually got sent to me. And there it is, right? So you can see this was the first email. And then you can um, click on these three dots if you want to read the email, right? And you could always test it. To see, like you can actually click on these to see if the links actually worked or not. But it looks like it came through perfectly fine. And then if they reply back to you, you'll see like another one um, down here. Like it'll it'll just show you the reply, right? So you can actually keep track of people if they're replying to you in each funnel, which is pretty cool. If you collect their phone number, there'll be a little text thing here. And you can actually text message them as well as email. But if you wanted to just send out a random email to one person, like let's say they, they did reply to you, you can just click on send email, build out your email, and then send it to them, right? Just click send and send it to them. So it's pretty cool. But everything actually worked. And I'm going to go look really quick. I'm not going to show you guys, but I'm going to go look at my email just to make sure that I actually got it. Because you need to make sure that you're always testing everything before you ever try to. Um, before you ever try to start sending traffic to it, right? So you should always be testing. Always be testing. And I did get it. It's coming from Unlimited Life Academy. So cool. All good. It's all good in the hood. Any questions? Has anybody got any questions on that? Yes, yeah. Always be testing. But yeah, so now it should be all good. The uh, The funnel is completely set up, right? Again, the landing page is really basic. So whenever you're doing affiliate marketing, the, the whole purpose of a landing page is really so that you don't have to share, um, that you don't have to share a affiliate link. You're, like, you're going to share an actual domain. Now, the one thing that I didn't show you, which I need to show you now, now that you have everything all set up, the last thing that you want to do, I mean, you could do this, you know, the first thing you could do, but I typically just wait until you're done, um, is actually hooking up a domain to it, right? So to hook up a domain, you're going to click on settings in the top uh, left of the screen. So you got your steps, right? You're going to have your stats, which is going to show you guys once people start coming through. Um, like you can see already, I got, you know, the three options that I already put in myself. It was just me, which is the one unique viewer. Um, so it kind of shows you all that kind of stuff, right? That's going to be cool. If you sell a product, if you actually sell a product in here, this isn't going to keep track of your um, affiliate commissions. But if you actually sold a product in your funnel, it would show up there um, for your sales. But we're going to go into settings. And then we're going to click on add or edit a domain, right? Now, I got a ton of domains already in here, but I'm sure I got other domains that aren't connected yet. So let me just walk you through the process really quick while we're here of how to connect your actual domain, right? Now, I use GoDaddy. So I'm going to go into my GoDaddy account real quick. And then I'm going to go into all my domains and we'll just find something to throw in here because I'm sure I got something stupid that I can put in here. Well, yeah, we can just grab this like seven seven figure clubhouse right it has absolutely nothing to do with the actual product i always suggest you try to get a domain name that's going to go along with the actual product or service that you plan on selling so inside of godaddy it's pretty easy right you just click on the domain go all the way down and then on the right hand side you can see where it says uh, manage dns you're going to click on that and then you just got to add two um two records right so you need to add a a record and then a C name record. And really with GoDaddy, I can just um, update this one because you're just going to do a C name with the www. And then I'll show you what, how to do that, right? So first of all, we're going to click add domain. Now we're going to go grab the actual domain name. So it's just sevenfigureclubhouse.com. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to drop it in here and click paste. And then this one is the C name, right? So we're going to go add a C name. We're going to copy this one, go back into our domain host. Mine is GoDaddy, once again. Um, and this C name, www. 
or www is going to point to that flash that funnels that messenger dr.com right i'm gonna backspace really quick because sometimes it grabs spaces i can click save and then i'm going to add an a name record right so same thing go back in here we are going to add a a name record pointing to this so we're going to copy that we're going to go back into godaddy and now we will actually click on add right so we're going to click on add And then we're going to select an A. The host is going to be at. So at and points to that number, right? Click save. Once you have that done, you go back into EULA Suites and then you can click add. And it didn't work. All right. Sometimes, I don't know why, like sometimes you just got to put the www in front of it. And then click add and then it works so now now that it's connected all you got to do is select the funnel that you want and we're just going to select bitune um usually the the last funnel that you worked on right is going to be the first one that that pulls up and then you want to set the default funnel step so the default funnel step is going to be where uh where it's going to land right so if somebody puts in www.sevenfigureclubhouse.com um, it's going to land, what page do you want it to land on? We're going to have it on the opt-in. It's the only page in there, but we're just going to go ahead and click on link. And now just to make sure we're going to click on our funnels, we're going to go into VidTune and then we will check it in here as well. So once you're inside of here, you want to click on settings and then just make sure that it is actually in here, right? Which it is. So sevenfigureclubhouse.com is the domain name. So now... If I go to that, oh, it's not going to work. Yeah. Let me go copy that again real quick, and let's see if it actually works. So we're going to copy this, sevenfigureclubhouse.com, and it might not work without the www, just a heads up. So let me just see. Paste and go. Yeah, it didn't work. So we're just going to paste it again, and then we're going to do www. and see if that works. And if not, then it just means that um, – oh, it's because I have it for sale. Dang it. Never mind. Oh, there it is. There you go. So just like that, it works, right? And now same thing here. If I put it in here, let me just do another one. Make sure it works on the live funnel, and it does. It's got my affiliate link up here, so I know that I'm going to get credit for it if somebody goes to it. And now there should also be one more opportunity for C, which there is. Bada bing, bada boom. Just set up an affiliate website, right, in an hour. Start to finish. And that even included me copying and pasting all of the emails that were in there. So there you have it. There you have it. There you have it. If you guys got any questions, let me know. Sorry, I got I was live on TikTok over here too. Just putting out content, guys. Gotta put out content. I know my, my computer's been pretty um pretty glitchy. Yeah, awesome sauce. And that's gonna work for like any of your affiliate things, right? So whether you want to use a opt-in like we did, like I you know, you should always be using an opt-in trying to get, you know, grow your list. Um, but whether you want to use an opt-in or you want to use a bridge page, right? You, you want to use one of those, one or the other when it comes to affiliate links, because you don't want, and even the way that I did it, honestly, um, it should have been more of like a bridge page to an opt-in page, because what's going to happen is when you share, uh, when you share links on anywhere, like social media, anywhere, right? the algorithms and stuff they're going to search through your funnel they're going to search through your website and they're going to try to find these things they're trying they're, they're trying to find links and then they're going to see where the links go to so the deeper in your funnel you can put your actual affiliate link the better that's why the, the pimp funnel kind of works um really well because it's like three levels deep right so on the pimp funnel you got your order you got your opt-in page first right that takes you to a 
um, a video to watch that kind of explains it really quick. And then you got to push a button to go to the next page, which actually gives you the opportunity to to buy it, right? To purchase um, the Eula Suites platform. So it's three levels deep before you get to that. And it's going to work a lot better for um, for affiliate marketing, right? Again, the deeper in your funnel, you can put your affiliate link, the better it's going to be. Uh, just know that like f- from all of the studies that I've done, um, the algorithms, whether it's, you know, Facebook, I mean, all the social media platforms and Google, right? They're scanning your website because ultimately what they're trying to do, and it's not a bad thing. It's not like they're trying to block affiliate links necessarily. Um, the whole purpose of them going deep into your funnel, into your website is really to see if you have any, like, uh, any content that's going to go against their terms of services kind of thing. Right. So, um, adult activity kind of stuff, right. Anything like that, uh, they're looking to see where you're trying to take people. Right. And they can get all the way, all the way through and click on your affiliate link and see where your affiliate link goes. Right. Um, so the farther in somebody has to go, just think of it just like the regular elder algorithm, the more action that somebody has to take, the more rewarding it's going to be for for you right so just think of it that way um but this is so it's still a fine a fine way to work it right if you don't want to if you don't want to put that affiliate link inside of the button on the first one you don't have to but then you have to create another bridge page to where it's going to be like okay you collect their email and then you would do a video i would highly suggest that you do it right because again if you are creating the video and you're on camera that's what the bridge page is for right it's um, you're out there producing content on social media, whether it's on TikTok or Facebook or Instagram or Twitter or whatever it is, right? People see you, they know you. And then if you send them a link to somewhere, a bridge page bridges that gap. That's the whole purpose of a bridge page, right? So um, you can say, hey, click on this link to opt in. They opt in. And then all of a sudden it's a video of you saying, hey, thanks so much for opting in to this, uh, to check out VidTunes or whatever your, whatever the product is that you're promoting. And then you kind of explain it a little bit and say, you know, now if you want, you know, if you want to get access to it, just click the button below the video and it'll take you to the product page, right? Um, The sales page kind of thing. And then that way, what happens is the people that you're building up this relationship with on your social media platforms, they're going to know you already. They're going to know, like, and trust you. But then they're going to see that it's not just, not just you're you're trying to send somebody straight to an affiliate link, right? Um, Again, the more, the more you can kind of build these out, the better it's going to be. Um, but yeah, that would be my suggestion. If you want to take this one step farther is take that form that they fill out when they submit that button, just make it go to the the next page, just like we did with the pimp funnel. And just like in the pimp funnel, there's going to be a video of you preferably on screen saying, Hey, thanks so much for checking out, you know, this product or service, whatever it is, you know, it's something that I use me personally. I don't promote stuff that I don't use personally. So, um, like VidTunes, I, I've used VidTunes, you know, so it's a good product. Like for, for how much it is, it's a good product. So I could easily go in there, do a video just saying, hey, thanks for checking out VidTunes. Uh, it's a really easy, cool way to make some customized video, like, you know, cartoon videos, right? Because they're a great way to um, advertise, especially if you're not willing to get on camera. So if you don't want to get on camera, uh, you know, you're going to have to create videos one way or another. And the cartoons just kind of animate things and still make it feel more real rather than just a PowerPoint presentation, right? So um, with that being said, you know, that's how you're going to promote it. That's how you're going to push people beyond that and put that affiliate link one step further in, in, the, in the system, right? Click the name and email, a video of you, a button there that sends them to your affiliate product. And then that way you guys are building up your reputation with them. And uh, they'll come back and buy more, especially if it's a good product, right? If they buy it and they like it, then obviously more people are going to come back to you. And that's how you start building out your um, kind of your affiliate empire, right? Even if you don't want to be a full-time affiliate like myself. So I do affiliate marketing, but I'm not like a full-time affiliate marketer. And I really don't promote a ton of products. I, um, I, I find different products or services or people reach out to me. Probably one of the biggest benefits for me anyway with being an affiliate marketer is that um, I'm I'm pretty decent at it, right? I'm not great at it, but I'm pretty decent at it. And people buy from me even though I have a really small a small audience, right? But with that being said, people that have a new product or service that's coming out, they give me their stuff for free all the time, right? This last year alone, I've probably gotten $50,000 worth of 
uh, courses or softwares or whatever, right? Just completely given to me for free to test out um, and see if I wanted to promote it or not, right? So just remember that too. Um, as you start building out your affiliate, um, your affiliate marketing world or whatever you want to call it, uh, people are going to start reaching out to you and asking you to do reviews on stuff. I mean, I get people that send me books all the time, which is pretty cool. I mean, I like reading um, and I've gotten some really cool, some really good books for free from people that you know wrote a book and that said, hey, I'd love for you to read my book and give me your feedback on it. Give me your thoughts on it. So the sky's the limit. You know, do what you want. Um, and then for me, the coolest part is, is like, once you kind of have that list, so obviously like I don't go out there and promote stuff every single day. Like I'm not like, cause I got a, a, I got a bunch of different things that I could promote. Right. I mean, I got from super high ticket to like super cheap stuff. Uh, one of the things that I help, uh, that I help promote is, um, automated Amazon drop shipping businesses. Right. So, um, teamed up with a group of people that that's what they do. They build out a done for you, completely done for you, a fit, like not affiliate marketing, a done for you Amazon or, or um, Walmart drop shipping store, right? So it's like buying a franchise though. It's not cheap. It's a $40,000 buy-in minimum, right? Minimum $40,000 will get you one store up to $55,000, depending on how fast you want the thing up and running. But it's guaranteed that you're going to get your money back in the first year. So if you make that forty thousand dollar investment, you're guaranteed to get that forty thousand dollars back in the first year through your profits of what you're going to make in that dropshipping store, or else they'll pay you back the difference and then continue to run your store anyway. Right? Beyond that, um, you know, with that program, there's like a sixty five thirty five split. So ultimately, they build the store for you. They get all the products, they ship all the products, they do everything for you. You literally have to do nothing other than make a credit card payment um, or pay your credit card bill, you know, once or twice a month, depending on how much your limit is, right? Um, but they profit their people 10 to $25,000 per month, like profit, right? Um, now, with that being said, that profit becomes your payback until you get your $40,000 back or your $55,000 back, whatever it is. And then beyond there, though, it's, it's really all profit, right? So, um, without you having to do anything at all. So that's like my highest high ticket product that I sell. And I've sold a few of them. You know, I don't sell a ton of them because it's obviously not for everybody. There's a lot of people out there that cannot afford $40,000 or $50,000. There is financing available for it, right? So I can always send people down that road if, they, if they're really interested. And they're like, oh, I'm interested. I just don't have that much up front. We can get you financed, right? We also uh, help people work with their credit because the next the, the next thing too is you have to have at least a forty thousand dollar credit card so you need forty thousand dollars up front to pay for the system and then you need a forty thousand dollar credit card in order to run your business because what they're going to do is they buy your the products that they sell on amazon from somebody else right and then it gets drop shipped to the person that they're selling to on amazon so um the credit card makes that purchase and then once you get paid you just pay back your credit card and if you want to take it like to the next highest level, right, you get an Amazon credit card and then you earn cash back on all of those purchases. Right. And now you're talking, you're buying, you know, anywhere from, you know, you could you could be buying at least twenty, thirty thousand dollars, forty thousand dollars. They will scale this business for you to where you're you're basically selling a quarter million dollars a month. Now your your profit, right? Your margins, like I said, about 10%. So if you sell $250,000 on Amazon, you're going to take home profit 25%, which would be $25,000, right? So really cool. Uh, it's a, it's a great opportunity for people that, you know, have the, have the capital to do it. And then, um, you know, they scale that credit card from 40,000 to 250,000 or wherever it needs to be. And that's typically where you have to stop growing your Amazon store because, um, beyond the $250,000 a month mark, uh, it puts up red flags and stuff like how are you selling so much stuff or whatever. So that's why they sell these done for you services because you can really only grow a store to about a quarter million per month in order to, you know, kind of keep your store. So anyway, that was kind of a rant, right? But then I got stuff all the way down to like, you know, um, I don't know, my cheapest product I promote is probably the kids journal, which is like a hundred bucks, you know, and I get 30% commission on that. So anyways, Hopefully you guys understand how to set up an affiliate funnel now. 
using the Euro Suites software. If you got any questions about it, let me know. And um, get out there, get after it, start making content, guys. You got to put yourself out there, right? Every single day, you should be putting some kind of content out there. If it's just posts, just do posts. If, it, if you got to do videos, do videos. Um, the smartest thing to do is make a long video and then break it up into a whole bunch of small videos, right? If you can do that, you could literally knock it out one time a week and then have a whole week's worth of content, at least a week's worth of content, right? So with that being said, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in another video soon. <sighs> I'm Coach Corey. Together we'll do...